Pathfinder. Pathfinder's making the rounds. If you can step away from your rock collection for... They're drill core samples. Not a rock... Oh, she's here. Pathfinder. Name's Riff. Mining engineer for Outpost Detail. Relax. I'm not going to judge anyone for collecting rocks. <sighs> They're drill core. Never mind. What do you think of Kadara? Mineral-wise, she's a gold mine. Carter is already putting Kadara's resources to practical use. What about people-wise? Sloane was scary on the Nexus. Now, she's plain terrifying. I'll stick to my rocks. What exactly does a mining engineer do? Oh, we're involved in every step of the mining process. Christmas is a good guy. A good miner. But he needs me to help decide where to drill. And when to stop. Good chatting with you, Riff. Anytime, Pathfinder. Hello, Ryder. Samples I sent? I can't use these. There's sulfur in them. Impurities. You're out of luck then. Sulfur's everywhere. Wait. Don't come any closer. Okay. <sighs> False alarm. Thought there might be some acid splash. I avoid acid splashes at all costs. Good call. It's terrible for the skin. Nessie Carter, science officer for Outpost at Teon. You must be the Pathfinder. Were you also part of Mining Company 7? Yes. Well, no, I wasn't a miner, but I worked with Christmas and the others. They're my family. You came to Helios to be with them? I know it's silly since I'll outlive them, statistically speaking, anyway. But I just couldn't let them go on such an adventure without me. What are you working on? A hyperpotent phosphate fertilizer using Kadara's natural abundance of sulfuric acid. Hyperpotent? That's good, right? Absolutely. My work will be essential in providing nutrients for gardens across Helios. When we have gardens, which we will, because of you. See you around, Kartar. Yep. Bye, Pathfinder. See the other guy? Dr. Nakamoto, what are you doing here? When I heard the outpost needed a physician, I offered my services. Least I could do after you retrieved my formula. And the setup's a sight better than a shipping container. Good to have you here, Doctor. I won't let you down, Pathfinder. How are your patients doing? Any serious injuries? Much as I hate to say it, Sloane's done a good job of protecting this place. Only minor injuries from people being clumsy. And, of course, a lot of aspirin for hangovers. What about your old clinic? I moved my patients here. With Christmas's permission, of course. And spread the word that my door is still open, just in a different location. A small gesture, but it's done wonders for the initiative's reputation. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Pathfinder.
You're Vetra's boss. How do you know Vetra? You one of her contacts? You could say that. I used to work the stock rooms on the Nexus. Let her know I set aside those regulators she wanted. Would have sent them earlier, but got busy with the move. Were you there during the uprising? Oh, I was there. Barricaded myself inside one of the stock rooms. Total chaos. Must be strange seeing the exiles again. Tan took the out of sight, out of mind approach. But that's never worked, in my experience. So you're the requisitions officer? That's my official title, yeah. But I take care of any odd jobs that pop up. Scrubbing, cooking, whatever I can do to help. That's nice of you. Keeps me busy. I used to work the drill back on Mars until I messed up my hand. I was lucky I didn't lose it, but the nerves never healed right. Do you have everything you need? We've got the necessities, but Sloan's keeping us on a tight leash. Outcasts check every shipment going in and out. As if the charlatan would be hiding in one of our crates. See you around, Drew. Keep fighting the good fight, Pathfinder. So this is Helios. Here's the site. Well, if it isn't the Pathfinder, welcome to Outpost Deteon. Christmas date of Mining Company 7 at your service. Christmas? Is that a nickname? <laughs> Afraid not. My old lady, Holiday Tate, had a sense of humor. It's certainly a conversation starter. Things going well? No one's been shot in the back, which is more than I expected. You don't think Sloane will hold up her end of the deal? She wasn't exactly reliable as head of Nexus security, was she? <sighs> but I can't complain. Her people has kept the outpost safe, and trade is booming. As long as credits are flowing, people are happy. For all our complexity, we're simple creatures. Anything else to report? Well, there's this... cult. A cult? Seriously? They're harmless, but the thing they worship, that's what worries me. Some kind of massive machine. They call it... Old Skinner. Could be nothing, but their leader, Bishop, went to pay tribute and hasn't come back. I'll check it out. Better safe than sorry. Appreciate it. You look like you've been around the block. That's one way of saying I'm old. That wasn't... Hey, at 61, I've come to terms with my age. I'm the oldest of the outpost leaders, but I'm also the toughest. I didn't come to Andromeda to die. The opposite, actually. Deteon. Interesting name. Does it mean something? <laughs> it's an inside joke among the company. Deteon is a temp name we pitched for our outpost block. It's actually an acronym. Stands for Deploy in the Ass End of Nowhere. Exiles giving you any trouble? We've actually taken a few on, of the non-outcast and collective variety. The uprising was ugly business. A lot of normal people got caught up in it. Glad we can provide a second chance. You said you're with Mining Company 7? Best damn EZO miners on Mars, until the ground dried up. 
Putting your skills to use on Kadara? You made the water potable, but there's still plenty of sulfur in the bedrock. The director wants to use the stuff to make fertilizer. Carter can tell you more. Just, uh, don't sneak up on her. Thanks for the update, Christmas. Anytime. <laughs>